Morning, ladies and gentlemen, collect. Let me get a little more light in here. Uh, this is my review of the Select Odin slash Destroyer figure. I was about to say build a figure. I want to keep saying build a figure, but this is this guy in the package. I actually got it for 20 bucks because the head right up there is loose. This head was loose in the box. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to open it up and get him out and show you guys this full figure in its entirety. I might do a couple comparisons. This is my first actual figure review, I guess. So, yeah, let's get this thing started. So, yeah, I didn't want to waste too much time unbuckling all of these little twist type thingies. I'll probably be making them for my Spider-Man later on or something, so definitely not going to lose none of these guys. Get out of here. Not really an unboxing, but you know, I just wanted to get him all in there. All the way together. This sword is massive. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna probably do a couple comparisons. I like this over head back here. Uh, I mean, I don't know if I really need to go over articulation or anything like that, because I know you guys have probably watched a bunch of reviews on him. So, you know, he's got single hinge knees, single hinge elbows. Uh, his wrist, hinge joints on his wrist, elbows. You know, he's got the little articulation on the shoulder pad so he can move his arms up. I know you guys heard all of this on all the other reviews, so I'm not going to keep babbling about the same thing about the joints and posability and all of that. We know that he can pose okay. Um, I brought out my um, my build a figure Odin sword just to kind of compare it with that one like I don't know, they, it's way more bigger, way more massive than the other sword. I do not have the builder figure though, so I mean, I didn't really like it, so I don't have it. Uh, do a size comparison, uh, bring out a couple of my builder figures and, you know, just size them up, see what's up. So, um, yeah, I brought out a couple figures to just do a little size comparison with him. Like I said, I'm just kind of fresh to this whole, um, oh, wow, well, brand new shot. Okay. Like I said, I'm kind of new to this whole review thing. Excuse the bread. Uh, Actually, well, since you see the bread in the shot, I'm actually in the middle of a barbecue right now with my mom, my sister, and my nieces and nephews. So, like, it's right in between there. And now I'm getting. He's about seven inches tall, I believe. Um, Odin head equipped as well. I just unboxed him. I just took him out of the pack. Um, uh, and uh. I compared the two swords, the sword from this figure and the actual builder figure. You know, they one is actually longer than the other one, I believe. I call this a by, by the window review. I mean, I'm sitting here by the window. I'm not doing nothing else, so I might as well review my new figure that I just got. Uh, I'm going to do a couple of comparisons and then... I guess I'll get out of you guys' way. Um, the first comparison I'm going to pull up is Juggernaut. He's a pretty big figure, but this destroyer is massive. He's got a little bit more height on him than Juggernaut does. Look pretty good together. Both of them are pretty big. Um... But to go to a smaller scale of things, uh, I guess I'll take Angela out. Uh, get this juggernaut out of the way. I'll put him back here. But 
But yeah, guys, I'm at a barbecue. Well, taking part in a barbecue with my mom and my sister and my nieces and nephews, you know. I'm getting like a little quiet point in between here, but I know they'll be back running back in the door in a few minutes, so I'm going to try and keep it quick, calm, and collected. So, uh, just bear with me for a minute. Here he is next to Angela. I think she's a great figure, by the way. I would love to do a review on her, but it's already 10,000. Oh, no. It's already 10,000 reviews on her, so... Here she is next to the Destroyer. If I can get her to stand up. Let's see. There we go. Yeah. He's huge. This guy is huge. They look so dark and brooding. But yeah, Angela's top of the line. Uh, but enough about her. Back to my review of this figure. Um, yeah, he's a pretty cool figure. I just took him out of the box. I did an unboxing. I'm gonna see if I can fix it later and put the little. It's 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 just a piece of it. Just a small piece of unboxing. But uh, let's get this sword in his hand. See if I can get it in his hand on camera. It should just slide. Yep, there we go. Sword in hand. Wow. Okay. The shoulder pads do pop off, but they really have articulation to make sure that the arms can move all the way out to the side. And uh, I'm going to try and see if I can switch the heads on the fly. If not, I just, well, that was actually pretty easy. Put this guy on here. There we go. Now we got Odin. I love how the articulation is in the legs, how they're hidden in the cuts. But you guys already know that because you already watched the review of this guy. But, um. But yeah, he's an amazing, amazing figure. He's very imposing, very big. Move this stuff out of the way. This is your guy Wally, man. This was by the window reviews, man. Uh, you know, there's life outside of the hobby. Stay crispy, my friends.